Pagula, the Hellenic Radio promotes the interest of the Hellenic community of South Africa through community broadcasting. In what way is the radio station advance the interests of the Hellenic community, whether political, social, cultural or educational? Paul, it's such a lovely question. You know, we are a tight-knit community here in South Africa. And I think long ago, we didn't have, as we've realized with internet, we can just have the choice to listen to music, to click on to radio stations from abroad. But we wanted to have our Greek music playing in our cars, in our homes. What's been amazing for us is especially for our older community, because I cannot tell you the amount of people that phone in and thank us. I think that's been the biggest win for us. So it really connected people to, to Hellenism, which really is a part of us. And of course, we can provide the news. So that's been really nice for our community. The Hellenic Radio was founded in 1995 and is dedicated to the improvement of relations and the well-being of South Africa's Hellenes. What are the challenges in keeping second and third generation Hellenes close to their roots? When people first came from Greece, or from Cyprus, they had this fire in them to really be close to their roots. But as we've had the second and third generations, and we are proud to be South African, we must state that very strongly. We're very proud to be South African and, and happy, you know, with all of those values. But it becomes a little bit difficult to remind people how important it is to stay close to all the Hellenic cultural events as well. The Hellenic Radio now also has youth shows. We've had it for a long time. I think what's really lovely is it's very authentic. It's not driven just by commercialism and getting in numbers and so forth. So presenters are truly themselves on air. So, you know, I think it brings in a wide variety of people. So there really has been a drive to bring in youth. And uh, we have Seheti, of course, here, that obviously brings our youth close to our Hellenism. And about a year and a half, I've been training the grade 10s and 11s to bring them to the Hellenic Radio to learn how to do shows. Um, and it was really fantastic because during COVID, where we couldn't be in the studio, we started to do podcasts. And they were all at home. Uh, we were all in our homes. And we were able to then still connect with the podcasts and do shows with the youth. And actually during COVID, what it helped us with the technology um, is to be able to connect with bazooki players uh, all over the world. And we had over a hundred bazooki players playing the music at once. And our message was one of unity during COVID and bringing joy to people and uniting them through music and through Hellenism. I mean, the Zebekiko de Zebekias is a Zebekiko of freedom, of joy, and really of emotions. What are your hopes and aspirations for 2021? One of my values is community. I would really like to bring in more youth. I'd like to spread awareness about our Hellenic values, what we stand for, who we are, and connect with other Hellenes across the globe. That would be wonderful for me. Other aspirations for the year, of course, we've got the 200 years of the 1821 revolution. That's very, very important, I think, for us Hellenes to realize, to spread the message, to spread awareness of what Hellenic values stand for. Who are we as Hellenes? It is a time for us to shout it loudly about freedom and how important it is. And then, of course, in that vein as well, we need to look at Cyprus. And may that message spread very, very loudly in uh, 2021.